Amen. Salamat sa Panginoon. At uh, mukhang nandung kayo lahat sa likod. <laughs> Amen. So, salamat sa Panginoon sa uh, hapon na ito at uh, tayo ay nagpapatuloy sa ating uh, pagsubaybay sa kanyang mga salita. At uh, tama yung sabi ni Brother Marvin, kung ano yung uh, nasusulat ay halos lahat nagpo-fall na doon ang uh, mga events na nangyayari sa ating uh, mundo. At uh, we are so blessed dahil uh, hindi itinago yan ng ating Panginoon sa atin, kundi yan ay kanyang ipinahayag dahil uh, ito ang magbibigay sa atin ng inspirasyon at uh, kagalakan sa ating mga puso na masasabi natin na talagang literally uh, lilisanin na natin itong uh, magulo at uh, masalimuot na mundo na ito. At uh, of course, I believe with all my heart, lahat ng uh, predestinated dito sa katawagan ng bride sapagkat pagdating sa kaligtasan, maraming maliligtas. Pero iba yung uh, calling, iba yung uh, katawagan talaga ng uh, bride. Ang pinag-usapan natin ngayon ay hindi kaligtasan lamang, kundi ang ating pinag-usapan ay yung uh, ating paglisan upang salubungin ng ating Panginoon sa alapaap. At uh, tayo ay, believe it my heart, ay hindi naiinip. Maraming naiinip, pero tayo sa biyayan ng ating Panginoon, parang ito pa lang yung tinatawag na tip of the iceberg. No? Hindi man tayo nagkaroon ng dull moments sa paglilingkod, dahil alam natin na ito yung kanyang uh, itinakda, ito yung kanyang uh, uh, pagtatalaga at salamat sa malinaw na pagkaunawa. So, salamat sa Panginoon at uh, tayo pa rin ay nandoon sa uh, journey to the promised land at maybe this is the uh, conclusion or pinaka uh, uh, pinaka last na part wherein uh, makita natin ano ba yung uh, kakulangan, ano ba yung uh, mga uh, nangyari. So, hindi na natin madaanan man natin yung nangyari noon, pero kailangan natin na makita yung kasalukuyan na nangyayari. So, tandaan natin itong journey na ito ay hindi na ito bago. Amen. Sabi ko nga kay Brother Marvin kahapon, ito ay uh, laging nangyayari sapagkat sabi nga ng Bible, walang bago sa silong ng langit. Nauulit at nauulit ito, amen, kaso lang ibang mga personalidad ang uh, gumaganap, iba-ibang personalidad ang uh, tumutupad. So, s- nandito na tayo sa dulo ng panahon. We have been instructed ano yung mga bagay na uh, darating dito sa time na ito at uh, salamat na ipinaunawa sa atin yung uh, tinatawag na uh, pinaka uh, highlight o pinaka sign sa ating time at karamihan ang nakita nilang signs ay yung uh, uh, current events, physical signs pero salamat ang atin nakita ay yung uh, spiritual signs and then uh, ito ay nagkaroon ng tinatawag na physical manifestation sa pamamagitan ng Bright. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Uh, may mga uh, bagay na I believe with all my heart na is ipahayag ng ating Panginoon sa atin in this day para tayo uh, talaga ay magkaroon na ng uh, kumbaga last uh, and final uh, instructions 
bago tayo uh, lilisan. Now, uh, nais nice kong basahin ang uh, Acts chapter 19. Sabagat dito, ipinahayag ng prophet sa atin ano ang dahilan bakit maraming uh, naiwanan samantalang lahat naman ay naniwala. Kasi hindi sapat yung uh, ang tao ay maniwala. Di ba? So sabi rito sa Acts chapter 19 verse uh, 1 and 6. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. And he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not much, uh, not so much as uh, heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? Sa ano kayo na bautismohan? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with tongues and uh, prophesied. So the Lord will uh, uh, bless his word. So makita natin mga kabatid, uh, napakahalaga yung Holy Ghost. Amen. And uh, salamat sa ating Panginoon, tinuruan tayo sa tamang placement ng tinatawag na teaching on the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Kasi hanggang ngayon ay marami pa rin na trap doon sa maling understanding ng baptism ng Holy Ghost. Amen. Sa 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 experience ko dito sa message na ito, ang dami kong na-encounter. Mga message believers, mga followers ng message na ito. But uh, talagang makita ko, nakita ko rather, na hindi pa rin hanggang ngayon uh, lapat sa kanilang unawa ang tinatawag na baptism of the Holy Ghost. I remember one time I was in a ministerial meeting and a certain uh, minister uh, presented to us well-known na message. When I was still uh, new in this message, talagang uh, bold, mangaral. Pero ako ay nagulat sa kanyang presentation ng uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost. And uh, of course, I cannot blame him because he read the quote wherein Brother Banham said, New birth and baptism of the Holy Ghost is two different things. New birth is receiving the life And uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost is receiving the power. So, it's written. Pero salamat sa ating Panginoon, tayo ay kanyang tinuruan. Amen. Tinuruan tayo na mag-turn ng corner. Kasi kung dire-diretso yung... yung uh, uh, paglalatag at walang turning ng corner, ang mabilt natin ay hindi bahay, kundi ang mabilt natin ay wall. So salamat mga kabadid. Tulad the testimony nga ni Brother Joe Ed, wala siya ngayon. 
sa probinsya, they were so very strict on uh, what the prophet have said. Yung mga projector, bawal, pati yung iba, drums, bawal. So, ang daming bawal. Bawal yung uh, uh, pastor, may license. Oh. Bawal yung may TV sa bahay. So, ang daming bawal, mga kabadid. But, uh, honestly speaking, it was spoken of by the prophet himself. But we have to know the reason why he spoke that. Kasi sa time na yon, bago-bago pa yung television, ang mga tao ay so excited uh, with that new inventions, no? At uh, every time na meron silang gawain, si Brother Banam napapansin niya, maraming absent. Oh, maraming hindi dumadalo, maraming absent. Kasi sinusubaybayan nila yung telenovela at that time. Yung I Love uh, Little Susie, if I'm not mistaken. So meron ng telenovela at that time na nahook yung mga tao. na adik yung mga tao. So we have to see why the prophet told sa kanyang quote, sa kanyang message na it's better na barilin mo na lang yung TV. Why, mga kapatid? If you don't control the t- TV anymore at yung TV na nag-control sa'yo, there must be really something wrong. Amen. And we are so blessed tayo ay lumalago sa understanding. Amen. wherein we can control those things. Di ba, mga patid? O, oh, may pastor ang tapang mangaral. Basagin nyo yung mga TV sa bahay nyo, pero meron siyang laptop. O, oh, meron siyang cellphone. What's the difference? O, oh, so we have to place it positionally. Sabi ng prophet, education is of the devil. Kaya marami ding mga, uh, mga pastors in advice yung kanilang young people wag na mag-aral because the prophet said education is of the devil civilization is of the devil science is of the devil so we have really to check ano ba yung uh, reason why the prophet said that so of course we know it's the law it's a law batas po yun mga kabadid. Pero kung uh, tayo, because of this revelation, it's not just a revelation, but the very life itself, amen, wherein the prophet himself said, we came not by uh, laws, by orders, by rituals, but by predestination. In other words, Amen. Hindi na yun ang nagbibigay sa atin ng uh, tinatawag na influence. Bakit? Ba't pa yun ang magbibigay sa iyo ng influence wherein you have an influence na hindi na galing sa mga bagay na yun kung hindi galing sa taas. At yun ang tunay na nagbibigay sa iyo ngayon ng kagalakan. Di ba mga patid? So we have to balance it. At maraming ganyan. Na yun ang evidence ng baptism of the Holy Spirit. Kailangan sumunod tayo sa sinasabi ng prophet. But we have to remember, sabi ng prophet, don't, don't get what I say, but uh, get what I mean. Don't get the rema, but get the logos. So alam natin yun, a place positionally. So lahat yan, mga kapatid, ay nandito na sa message na ito. Amen. Now, I want to read something. Kasi ito, mga kapatid, naka, naka ano na dito, pinexplain na ng prophet bakit ganito yung nangyayari. Amen. Now, sabi niya rito, Now I realize that it is going to be confusing for a moment here. This is a teaching subject, by the way. As most people know that I was ordained a Baptist preacher. And I have steadfastly declared that the Baptists have missed it for saying, you receive the Holy Ghost when you believe. So, yun ang uh, turo ng Baptist. 
Oh, kayo ay uh, mabaptize ng uh, Holy Ghost or uh, you receive the Holy Ghost when you believe. Oh. For that is not so. You receive Him since you believe. Oh, paano natin ilapat yan? Tignan natin ano. Acts 19.2.6 He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? Amen. So magkaiba yung uh, uh, you receive the Holy Ghost when you believe. Iba din yung you receive the Holy Ghost since you believe. Because when you believe, that's the only time you started that journey. Yung pa lang yung pasimula ng journey, hindi pa yan yung uh, uh, destiny. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? So, merong starting point. And that is to believe. Amen. But people say, when you believe, you receive the Holy Ghost. Parang outright, when you believe, automatically you receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pero ang tanong ni Paul, Amen, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? So, merong, merong journey. Now, sabi niya rito, And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then uh, said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is on uh, Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. There it is. Paul asked, Have you received sins? Not when you believe. So, we talk about uh, end time believers. And this Monday, uh, this Sunday, we will see, mga kabatid, maraming born again believers, but they are not really born again. Oh. Yes, born again believers, but they are not really born again. Oh, magkaiba ba yun? Naniniwala sa born again, pero hindi na born again. Naniniwala sa baptism ng Holy Ghost, but hindi na baptized ng Holy Ghost inside. Na baptized ng Holy Ghost hanggang doon sa spirit realm. Now, itutuloy natin. Sabi niya rito, And there is a great difference there. For it is after we believe that we receive. O, pagkatapos mong matanggap, and then afterwards, you will receive. And that is what happened to the disciples. They believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and then afterwards, they receive the Holy Ghost doon sa day of Pentecost. At hindi lahat na niniwala, mga kapatid, umabot doon at nakareceive. We have to remember sa John chapter 6, 5,000. Bagamat maraming mga followers, pero let us see uh, John chapter 6. Di ba? 5,000 yung nakakain. And that is the first pool. And then second pool, na-discern ni Lord na sila'y uh, sumama, hindi dahil doon sa nasaksihan nilang uh, uh, mga supernatural, kundi sila ay nabusog sa kanilang tiyan. Amen. And then, ang showdown really, when the Lord Himself sinabi niya sa kanila, ako yung tinapay na galing sa langit. ba? And then, what happened? Amen. Sabi ni Lord, maliban na kainin ng aking laman at inumin ng aking dugo, wala kayong buhay. So, anong nangyari doon sa mga 
ah, hindi lang basta they believe. Di ba mga badid? They were selected by the Lord Himself. Di ba? So sabi nila, sinong pwedeng uh, tatanggap sa ganyang turo? You see? It looks familiar. Sino makakatanggap sa mga turo na ganyan? So ano nangyari yung mga disciples, mga kabadid, ay nagsitalikuran. And that is what happening right now. Sila ba ay naniwala? Do they believe? Yes. Pero mga kabadid, amen, hindi lahat yan umabot sa tinatawag na Day of Pentecost. Now, sabi niya rito, So there's difference between uh, receiving or uh, uh, when and then uh, since you believe. Ephesians 1.13 is an uh, exact word repeat of what happened in Ephesus according to Acts 19 in whom Ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation in whom also after that ye believe, not when ye believe, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. Hindi yung when you believe, but after you believe. Amen. Because this is a journey. There is a process. Amen. Now, there is, here is my point. Too many of our modernists and even our fundamentally so-called believe unto salvation at a certain specific time which in many cases is called making a decision. And uh, That has been called receiving Christ or being born again. So yan ang kanilang paniniwala. When you believe, Amen, then you are born again. Ah, maraming ganyan. And, and that was the understanding of the prophet before the seals were opened. Being born again is receiving Christ. Believing Christ. And uh, A uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost is when you receive the power. Now, tignan natin, no? Now, to receive Christ is to receive His Spirit. To receive His Spirit is to be born again. So, dito nilalapat na ng prophet yung tamang positioning. To receive His Spirit is to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Amen. These folks believe that is wonderful, but they stop there. You receive the Holy Ghost after you believe. Oh, hindi when you believe, but after you believe, because when you believe, That is just the starting point of the journey. Di ba mga kapatid? Yung pa lang yung starting point. Just like what I've said recently about the journey of, the, of uh, Israel. They all believe uh, Moses. Amen. Naniwala lahat sila kay Moses. Otherwise, hindi sila sumama sa kanya. Pero mga kapatid, after, amen, na sila ay patungo na doon sa promised land, they were actually in the wilderness, doon na nag-start yung tinatawag na showing of what they have. Di ba? Amen, doon na nagsimula actually na uh, una, si... Uh, Aaron and Miriam nagsimula ng mag-question sa prophet whom they believe. Di ba? Question lalo na si Miriam. 
Bakit ka kumuha ng asawa na Ethiopian woman? Again, it's a law. And uh, God said, it, it's my decision. I allowed it. Di ba mga kapatid? Sa katunayan mga kapatid, binigyan pa ng Panginoon si Miriam ng leprosy. And uh, the prophet Moses interceded for it. Na tumuloy na naman sila. Di ba? So doon lumalabas mga kapatid. And that is the journey in this message. Amen. And then, habang si Moses nandun sa Mount Sinai, itong si Dayton and Cora, mga kapatid, amen, nandun pa rin yung kanilang mind dun sa kung ano, uh, saan sila galing. They collect all, all the golds na dala nila and they uh, build that molten calf. And what is that? The prophet said, money-making scheme. Ang sabi ng uh, prophet, Lord, sabi niya, Amen. Oh, rather, tinawag ng Panginoon si Moses. Sabi niya, wawasakin ko, pupuksain ko itong mga tao na ito. And uh, Moses said, Lord, wag mong gawin yan. Remember that quote? Remember that scripture? Lord, wag mong gawin yan. Sasabihin ng mga Egyptyo, nilabas mo yung mga tao na ito pagkatapos papatayin sa ilang. Amen. Di ba mga badid? At pinakinggan ng Diyos si Moses at that time. What is that? Si Moses at that time ay interceding like Jesus was. Amen. Hallelujah. So tutuloy natin. So to receive His Spirit is to, is to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. These folks believe that is wonderful, but they stop there. You receive the Holy Ghost not when you believe, but you receive the Holy Ghost after you believe. So, sabi ng prophets, it's two different things. Not when you believe, but after you believe because it's a process of God. Dami naniwala, di ba? As I've said, 5,000 naniwala sa Lord. Amen. Then they, they follow the Lord and then second pool na discern ni Lord. Amen. Yung mga uh, sumunod sa kanya. Anong sabi niya sa kanila? Sumunod kayo, hindi dahil sa supernatural na nakita nyo, kundi sumunod kayo dahil nabusog kayo. Di ba mabadid? So ang highlight dyan ay yung magpakilala na ang ating Panginoon. Ako yung tinapay na galing sa langit. Amen. Then these people who are uh, following him at that time started to murmur. Di ba yung magulang namin kumain ng mana sa ilang? Pero ano sabi ni Lord? Tunay nga, sila ay kumain ng tinapay na galing sa langit pero lahat sila ay nangamatay. Di ba? Pero kung kainin nyo itong tinapay na ito na galing sa langit, kailanman hindi na kayo magugutom. Talagang napakatigas mga kabatid. Strong meat for those people at that time. Lalo na nung sabihin niya maliban na kainin ng aking laman at inumin ng aking dugo, wala kayong buhay. So then, those who believe at that time, not just believe, Jesus Himself selected them Magkikita natin mamaya, they have their ministry at that time. They cast out devils. But remember, sa Luke chapter 10, if I'm not mistaken, yung 70 disciples, inutusan ng Panginoon. Amen? Nagbalikan sila. Is that right? Amen? And then tuwan-tuwa sila. Punong-puno sila ng kagalakan. At ang sabi nila, nadaig namin ang ano, spirito ng jablo. Oh, anong sabi ni Lord? Tunay nga, nakita ko nga ang jablo na nahulog na parang lintik mula sa langit. Pero huwag kayo dun magalak. Magalak kayo kung ang pangalan nyo ay nakasulat sa langit. E eh, paano yun? Nasa langit. Di ba mga kabadid? 
Kaya napakahalaga itong message na ito. Amen. Yung mga pangalan na nasa langit, ibinaba. Di ba mga batid? Actually, nung makita yan ni John, umiyak siya. Kasi kailangan na yung aklat na yun na kung saan nakasulat ang pangalan ay kailangan mabuksan, nakaselyo ng pitong selyo. Di ba mga batid? Kaya umiyak si John. Sabi ni Lord, huwag kang umiyak. Amen. Di ba mga batid? Sabagkat ang, uh, ang, uh, ang ugat ni David, ang uh, sinong tinutukoy niya, si Lord, ay nagtagumpay. Ang leon sa tribo ni Huda ay nagtagumpay. Pero nung lumingon, si John, anong nakita niya mga kapatid? Hindi naman layon. Ang nakita niya ay ang kordero na wari pinatay. Sabagat yung dugo niya ay sapat upang bayaran yung aklat na yon, mga kapatid, at mabuksan. Amen. And in Revelation chapter 10, binaba yung aklat. Amen. Yung aklat ay bukas. Amen? Sa Revelation chapter 10, ngayon ang tanong, nakita nyo na ba ang pangalan nyo ron? Sabi ni Lord, magalak kayo kung ang pangalan nyo ay nakasulat doon. So that is the message in this day na kailangan ma-reveal sa individual. Now, tuloy natin. So hindi when you believe, but after you believe. So merong process. Merong journey na kailangan nating lakaran, no? It has always been that way and always will be. The very first word of direction to the people was by Peter at Pentecost and he said, "Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins." And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children. And to all that are a part of. Kasama na po yung angeles. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Sinong tatawag? Si Lord. Sinong naghanap? Si Lord. Sinong namili? Si Lord. Yes. This Sunday, we will see that. Because we will find out those two congregations in the stars. Pleiades and Hyades. Pleiades, the seven daughters or the congregation of the judges. And the Hyades, which is the congregation of those who receive salvation. Magkaiba yun, mga kabadid. Pagdating sa kaligtasan, maraming ligtas. Pero iba, mga kapatid, espesyal yung sasalubong sa Panginoon sa lapaap. Yun ay walang iba kundi ang bride. Iba yung bride. Iba yung maliligtas. Marami pong maliligtas. Amen. Now, so sabi niya, mga kapatid, ng prophet, What is it that caused this misunderstanding? Oh, ano ba yung nag-cause ng misunderstanding? The answer is experience. We have gone by experience and not the word. Kaya nga sabi ko, maraming nagsisikap lakaran yung salita. Di ba mga kapatid? At Sa katunayan, mga kapatid, marami akong nakikita, mga pastor, talagang pinipilit yung tao na lumakad sa salita. And uh, we cannot blame them. Kasi gusto nila na yung salita ay makita sa tao. Pero hindi mo po pwedeng pilitin yung tao na lumakad sa salita. Di ba mga kapatid? para mo siyang kinalburo. Di ba mga kabadid? And you can produce hypocrites people. Di ba? Talagang baka makita ako ni ganito. Talagang sa harap ng ano, pastor o kaya sa mga ministro, 
talagang hindi makabasag bula. Di ba mga kapatid? So, iba yun. Iba rin yung mismong Holy Ghost ang dumating sa'yo. And then, the purpose of that Holy Ghost is to quicken the word to you. Kaya pag quiniken ng Holy Ghost yung word sa'yo, ikaw mismo ay nagugulat bakit nalalakaran mo yung salita na hindi ka nahihirapan. Amen. At lumalakad ka na may kasiyahan sa yung puso. Amen. So yun ang mahalaga sabi ng prophet mga kapatid, we have gone by experience and not by the word. Kailangan yung word. You are part of that word. And the purpose of the Holy Ghost why he came is to quicken that word to you. Amen. Para ikaw mismo mga kapatid makalakad at hindi na ikaw Paul said, hindi na ako nabubuhay sa aking sarili kundi si Kristo nang nabubuhay sa akin. Diba? Even our faith, hindi na natin faith yun. Diba mga kapatid? The prophet said, it's not your faith. It's the faith of the Son of Man. Diba mga kapatid? Maraming nagkakamali dyan. Kailangan yung maniwala. But remember, we started with our own faith. Diba mga kapatid? And then the, the Bible said, you are saved by grace through faith. And that is not yours. It is the gift of the Holy Ghost. It is the gift of God to you. Hallelujah. So away with experience as your measuring line. So marami mga kapatid talagang grabe, hindi makabusag, makabasag bula. Kasi hinahampas. Amen. Kaunting paka, pagkakamali, pak. Kaunting pagkakamali, pak. Ang pinakamahalaga, i-preach yung word. At pag ikaw ay predestinated, mga kapatid, obligado ang Diyos na i-quicken yung word sa iyo. At masaya mong nilalakaran ang salita at kailanman hindi ka napipilitan. Eh maraming na produce actually a message na ito ng mga hypocrites. Sorry for that word but that's the reality. Mas nalulugod ang Panginoon na makita na makita niya yung isang mananampalataya na may kagalakan na nilalakaran niya ang salita ng Panginoon. Hindi na siya kundi yung Holy Spirit na nasa kanya. Amen. Kasi as long as we are in this flesh, mahirap 'yan. Hindi natin kaya. Kaya nga ito ay biyaya. Anong ibig sabihin ng biyaya? Sabi ng prophet, dahil hindi mo kayang gawin, ako ang gagawa. Paano siya gagawa? Eh di manahan siya sa atin. Amen. Glory. There is only one plumb line, only one rod, and that is the word. Now watch carefully and get this. Peter said, repent, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Paul said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Not when you believe. Magkaiba po yun. Since you believe. This is the whole of our problem right here. People repent of their sins. They get baptized in water. But they don't go on and receive the Holy Ghost. I will tell you later, mga kapatid, ano ba yung evidence of being baptized with the Holy Ghost? Amen? So hindi sila nag-move. Amen? Just like the journey to the promised land. Yung iba tumirik na along the way. Di ba? Yung iba ay kinain ng uh, tinuklaw ng aha sa ilang. Yung iba ay kinain ng lupa. Amen? Kaya originally na nanggaling dun sa Egypt, dalawa lang ang nakarating sa promised land. Sino yon Joshua and Caleb. 
It's here. Tignan natin mamaya. But they don't go on and receive the Holy Ghost. You believe unto receiving the Spirit. Believing on Jesus is the step in the right direction which is toward the Holy Ghost. Yun ay first step. Di ba mga kabadid? Amen. But the people stop there. They go as far as water and then stop. They believe and then stop. Kaya nga mga kabadid, hindi lang po dapat tayo message believers. Hindi po tayo expectators. Hindi po tayo expectators dito sa message. We are acting on it. Amen. Kaya nga, word made flesh. I see the word made flesh again. Amen. Sabi ng prophet, in the flesh of his bride. Hallelujah. The Bible does not say that you receive when you believe. It is, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? So ang starting point ay when you believe. Ang starting point ay when you believe this message. Again, believing this message is not enough. We have to move, we have to go farther. Amen. Even Paul, alam niya yan. Anong sabi niya mga kabadid? Iwanan na natin itong mga panimulaing aral. And let us go unto perfection. Hindi basta-basta yung panimulaing aral na nandun sa scripture. Laying of the hands, salvation, resurrection. Amen. Pero sabi ni Paul, yan ay mga panimulaing aral. Iwanan muna natin. If the Lord's permit and let us go unto perfection. And there's only one perfect and that is God. Hallelujah. So let's continue. This is a uh, teaching uh, topic. The exact and literal translation is, Did ye, having, having previously believed, receive the Holy Ghost? The people believe and then stop. You don't receive the Holy Ghost when you believe unto Him, having repented. You go on and receive the Holy Ghost. Do you see it? Kailangan mag-move. That is what is wrong with our fundamentalists. They have no power for they stop short of Pentecost. Amen. They are like the children of Israel who came out of Egypt and stopped short of the promised land. Now those children of Israel left Egypt about 2 million strong. They all journeyed together, all saw the same miracles of God, all partook of the same manna, same message, and water from the smitten rock, all followed the same cloud by day. Ito yan, yan yung mga kabadid, hindi lang yun sa time ni Moses. They believed the cloud. Amen. Pero hindi nakapagpatuloy. Hallelujah. And the pillar of fire by night, but only two reach the promised land. Only two were true or real believers. Nakailight yan. Oh. That is correct. Why? Because the word tells us that the rest died because of unbelief. And because of unbelief, they could not enter in. Hebrews 3.19 Then since that is so, and only two entered, then the rest were not true believers. What made the difference? Two stayed with the word. Nag-stay sa word. They can't 
continue on the word. Kasi ang word ay hindi stagnant, mga kabadid. Ang danger, mga kabadid, pag ang word sa iyo ay nagkaroon ng uh, tinatawag na dead end. And when you follow that way, kung ano-ano ang gagawin ngayon nila, just to uh, make sure na lahat ay uh, merong tinatawag na activity. Sila ay on fire. Di ba mga kapatid? Pero mas mainam yung masundan mo yung word until the end. Amen. So what made the difference? Two stayed with the word. When the hearts of the ten spies failed at Kadis Barnea, Joshua and Caleb did not stagger for they believed the word and said, we are more than able to take the land. Bakit ganon? Lahat ba sila ay binigyan ng instruction? Lahat ba sila ay nakarinig sa message na sila ay ililid ng Panginoon sa promised land? Lahat. Pero pagdating ngayon ng Kadis Barnea, the judgment seat of Christ, mga kapatid, do na they failed. Ten of them failed. Dahil nakita nila impossible. Maganda yung land, maganda yung lupa, flowing with milk and honey. But it's impossible. Kasi mga kapatid, ang nakita nila, mga kapatid, ay yung effort ng tao. Effort ng blessed. As long as you are looking at your flesh, yung kaya niyang gawin, you will fail. Pero mga kapatid, walang imposible sa Diyos. Pero kailangan yung Diyos na yon ay manahan sa laman. Kasi itong flesh, wala talaga siyang magagawa. Kaya kailangan natin umabot sa time na prinamis ng Panginoon. Amen. Na kung saan, siya na ang mag-take over. Amen. Sabi ng prophet, it's no longer conditional covenant. We all fail sa conditional covenant. Kailangan natin unconditional covenant. Ano yung unconditional covenant? God will take over. Magikita natin mamaya na malinaw. This is actually a long one but uh, I'll try my best to see yung uh, highlights. Amen. We are more than able to take the land. They knew they could because God said, God had said. Ganun sila ka confident because God said so. Amen. Kaya pag lahukan mo ng sarili mong effort, Amen, yung will at word ng ating Panginoon, mahirapan ka. Anong gagawin natin? Just leave it to the Lord. Just take it to the Lord rather and leave it there. Hallelujah. I have given you the land. Yun ang sabi ng Panginoon. And we have to believe, we have to have a confidence on it. Because heaven and earth shall pass away. But his word shall not pass away. After all those Israelites sowed of the power and goodness and deliverance of God, they did not enter into rest, which is a type of the Holy Ghost. So you can see right now that very few will ever believe all the way to receiving the Spirit of God. Kakaunti lang. Amen. So nakita na natin mga kapatid. Now that was the journey of the literal Israel. And remember we are spiritual Israel. Amen. So, sa time ni Lord, ganun din ang nangyari. Ang daming sumunod sa ating Panginoon. But only 120 people were able, amen, to receive the Holy Ghost at the day of Pentecost. Doon sa upper room. Now, one of them, mga kabatid, na hindi umabot ay si Judas. Let us see, hindi basta-basta si Judas. 
Huwag niyong isipin na si Judas ay ano, so bad. No. Wala siyang alam sa message. No. Now, he said, Glory. Now, I'm sure that you have noticed that those whose names were in the book of life were a part of the religious order of that day that centered around the true God and worship of Him. So, yung mga haharap doon sa tinatawag na white throne judgment. Amen. Sila ay, yung name nila ay nandun sa book of life. But remember, our name has been transferred. The prophet said, Amen. When you receive the new birth, your name has been transferred from the book of life to the Lamb's book of life. Of course, it's the same book, but different section. It's not a literal book, but, but the very mind of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Like Judas. So at that time, mga kapatid, yung mga harap, part of the religious order, at nakasentro, amen, dun sa true God and worship of Him. Pentecostal, wala na po yan. Sorry for that word, but that's the reality. Ang pinag-usapan natin ngayon ay yung message. Amen. Like Judas, they didn't go all the way. Amen. See how Judas was chosen of God. But nagkaganon, mag-iisip tayo, pinili siya dito sa lupa. Pero in heaven, iba yung pagpili ron. Pag pinili ka ng Diyos before the foundation of the world, sabi ng prophet, never na mabubura ang name mo dun sa Lamb's Book of Life. Never, sabi ng prophet. Pero pag ang name mo ay nasa Book of Life, General book, may chance na mabura yan. Pero kung ang name mo ay na-transfer sa invisible uh, union, sabi ng prophet, kung na-transfer yung name mo dun sa Lamb's Book of Life, there's no way for it to be blotted out. Eh, grabe mga kapatid. Eh, saan tayo? Amen. See how Judas was chosen of God. He was instructed in truth. Huwag niyong sabihin na walang alam si Judas sa truth. Sabi ng prophet, oh, He was instructed in truth. In other words, alam niya yung message. He shared knowledge of the mysteries. Aba, alam din niya maghimay ng mysteries. Alam niya ang i-preach ang new birth. Ha? Alam niyang i-preach ang baptism ng Holy Ghost. Kaso ang problema sa kanya, hindi niya na-receive. Magkaiba ba yun? You can preach baptism of the Holy Spirit. You can preach this message. Pero walang saysay kung hindi ikaw maging message in this day. Anong ibig sabihin, mga kapatid? Kailangan ma-identify ka dun sa word. Be, being a living epistle, sabi ni Paul, read by men. Hindi letra. Letra na kamamatay. The letter kill it, but the spirit give it life. Hallelujah. He shared knowledge of the mysteries. Nangaral din siya ng mysteries. Nag-share siya ng mysteries. He had a ministry of power granted unto him and he healed the sick. Oh, hallelujah. He healed the sick and cast out devils in Jesus' name. Kaya nga po mga kapatid, yun sa Matthew 7, 21, hindi lahat na nagsasabi sa akin, Lord, Lord, ay papasok sa kaharian ng langit. Magpoprotesta sila sa time na yan, Lord, nangaral kami sa iyong pangalan. Nakagawa kami, Lord, ng dakilang bagay sa iyong pangalan. Pero anong sabi ng Panginoon? Lumayo kayo, hindi ko kayo kilala. 
hindi yung hindi kilala na hindi alam kung sino sila. We have to go back to Genesis chapter 4. That word new means uniting. In other words, I never united with you. Amen. Glory to God. He healed the sick and cast out devils in Jesus' name. But when the showdown came, he sold out for gold and political power. He did not go up to Pentecost to receive the Spirit of God. He was devoid of the Spirit. So hindi basihan yung alam mong ipreach yung message. Alam mong himayin ang mysteries. Amen. Nag-cast out ka ng devils. Amen. Hindi yun ang basihan. Ang basihan ay, Amen, you receive the Holy Ghost. At doon tayo tutong, mga kapatid. Make no mistake about it. A person that is truly baptized by the Holy Ghost into the body of Christ, receiving the fullness of the Spirit, will be in the Word all the way. So it's a continuous process of God. Hindi ka dapat hihinto, kundi tuloy-tuloy ka because God is a progressive dun sa kanyang pagpapahayag. Amen. At nandito na tayo, I believe with all my heart, Amen, sa punto, sabi ng prophet, lahat, the fullness of the word has been revealed. And that's the third pull. At third pull, napakalawak. Isa-isay natin yan sa ating series. Sa Sunday, makikita nyo yan, mga kapatid. Amen. That is the evidence of being baptized with the Holy Ghost. Judas failed. Multitudes failed right there. And when they fail to go on in the Word, their names are taken off the Book of Life. Yon yung tinatawag na Great Disappointment. Amen. Because why? Amen. They shared the knowledge of the truth. They know this truth. They know to be the only truth in this day. But they cannot go all the way, amen, to the word. Now, ito yung sinasabi ko, mga kabatid. I was... Uh, in a ministerial meeting and a pastor has been a pastor for many uh, years maybe when I was still uh, new in this message siya po ay kilala na and then uh, tumayo siya sa, sa pulpit and started to present the baptism of the Holy Ghost Ito yung quote niya actually. Actually, it's from the prophet himself. Now, sabi niya, that was 1962. Before the seals were opened. Napakahalaga mga kapatid yung turning ng corner ng ministry. Kaya marami pong nagsasabong, pinagsasabong yung mga quotation. Bakit? Pinagahalo yung mga corrected teaching before the seals and after the seals. Hindi po natin sinasabi na lahat before the seals mali. May mga ilan lang doon na kinorek mismo ng ating Panginoon nung mabuksan yung selyo. Amen. Kaya may makikita kayo, ito yung sinabi niya before the seals, ito yung sinabi niya after the seals. Amen. San tayo? Siyempre, doon nung mabuksan ang uh, seals. Because why? Before the seals, maraming reference ang prophet. Marami siyang books Amen, na binabasa. Mga books nila Uriah Smith, mga kilalang uh, theologians. Pero pagdating ng opening of the seals, amen, sabi niya, hindi na ito galing sa tao. You are no longer feeding on a man. You are now feeding on the unfailing body word of the Son of Man. Di ba mga kapatid? Kaya pagdating ng opening ng seals, klarong-klaro na ngayon. 
Amen, ang pagpapahayag ng ating Panginoon. Now, ito yung comment niya before the seals. Para may ano lang natin, may plaster lang natin mabuti. Now, sabi niya, I don't believe in being born again in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Oh, I don't believe in being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It is not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's being reborn again. We're reborn by the blood. Nandiyan ba, Brother Eric? 1962, sabi niya, I don't believe in being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ilan yan? Maganda mabasa natin eh. Being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yun yung kanyang understanding before the seals. Ito yung uh, pinagsasabong ng mga pastor. Is the baptism. Wala dyan? Anyway, basahin ko na lang, no? Sundan nyo na lang. I don't believe in being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It is not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's being reborn again. We're reborn by the blood. Yun na lang, we're reborn by the blood. Marami ang bread for sure. chicken yan ah. <laughs> Being reborn. Ba't wala? Ayan. I don't believe in being born again is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It is not the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's being reborn again. We're reborn by the blood. Blood cells comes from life cells come from the blood. You are baptized by the Holy Ghost into the body, but you're born by the blood. So that was his statement before the seals. Sineparate niya yung baptism ng Holy Ghost tsaka yung born again. Isa pa. And the new birth, as people talks, that baptism of the Holy Ghost is the new birth. Now that's wrong. Oh, pansin niyo. And the new birth, as people talks, that baptism of the Holy Ghost is the new birth. Sabi niya, now that's wrong. The baptism of the Holy Ghost is different. From the new birth. Ngayon, kung ako ay isang pastor, dalawa na, di ba? Paninindigan ko na yan hanggang wakas. At uh, mag-aaway tayo. Ganon yung karakter ng mga pastor eh. Pasikatan doon sa meeting eh. Pero hindi po ganon mga kapatid. Ang message na yan, hindi ibinigay ng Panginoon para pagsabungin. Ang message na ito binigay ng Panginoon upang magkaroon ng kaganapan. And we have to watch for it. Ang ginawa ng mga pastor, pinagsasabong-sabong yan. Oh, sabi niya, The baptism of the Holy Ghost is different from the new birth. The new birth is when you're born again. But the Holy Ghost is when power comes into that birth for service. Oh. Di babakuran mo na yan. At yan na yung uh, ano, tayo mo hanggang sa dulo. 
Di ba? Maghahalo ang balat ng balat at tinalupan, sabi pa nga ng isang pastor. Amen. So napakahalaga yung opening ng seals. Ayun. Nung opening na ng seals, mga kapatid, inayos ng prophet. Amen. By the guidance of the Holy Spirit, yung tama at lapat na turo. At dapat dun tayo. Okay? Now, what is the baptism with the Holy Ghost? Amen. Inayos na ng prophet ang teaching after the seals were opened. What is the baptism with the Holy Ghost? It is the Spirit baptizing you into the body of Christ. Ano? Sabi niya, it is the new birth. Sabi niya kanina, two different things. New birth is receiving the life and baptism of the Holy Spirit is receiving the power. Pero anong sabi niya rito? Amen. It is the Spirit baptizing you into the body of Christ. It is the new birth. It is the Spirit of God coming in and filling you after you have repented. Yun yung start, di ba? Doon sa Acts 2.38, Amen, hindi ka naman magre-repent kung hindi ka naniwala. So you started by uh, uh, doing that uh, three process of grace. Sanctification, or justification rather, sanctification, and then baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Kailan daw yun mag-start? Having heard His Word. Kailangan marinig mo yung Word. Hindi lang partial Word, kundi malik marinig mo yung tumbok na message for your day and age. And being baptized with water as an answer of a good conscience toward God. Yun ay start. Oh, tapos tinuloy niya. What we have been just set forth would be much easier for all to understand if we all believe the doctrine of the oneness of the Godhead. Tama nga rin naman. Kung sablay ang ating Godhead, hindi natin ito malalapat ng tama. Amen. For there are not three persons in that Godhead, but one. Thus we are not born again by the Spirit of life of Jesus Christ, of Jesus coming in, and then subsequent to that, the Holy Spirit coming in to give us power. So, pinasinungalingan niya yung una. Kaya nga yung iba rin naman, ayaw sa prophet dahil merong mga dual statement. Pero alam natin yan, i-plastar ng tama. Before the seals and after the seals. Iba na nung nabuksan yung selyo. Bakit? Panginoon na ang nagpapahayag. Doon sa pagbubukas pa lang ng selyo, hindi basta-basta nagbubukas ang prophet. Amen ang kanyang bibig. Inihintay niya yung inspiration na galing sa Panginoon. Amen. So sabi niya mga kabatid. Oh. So hindi yung dumating yung life ni Christ and then subsequently darating yung uh, Holy Spirit to give us power. If that were true, why are we dishonoring the Father by not giving him a part in our complete salvation? For if salvation is of the Lord and there are three lords, then he, Father, must have something to do to. But surely it can be seen that Jesus made this very clear, that it was He and He alone who is God, and it is He and He alone who is coming into the believer. Hindi tatlo. Kasi kung si Jesus dumating yung life sa'yo, and then yung Holy Ghost dumating din to give the power, wala nga rin namang ginawa yung Father. Kung tatlong persona. Diba? Just like in the beginning. Diba? Kung Jesus ang anak, amen, at ang tatay niya ay Holy Ghost, eh sino yung father? Diba sabi ng uh, 
Angel, kay uh, Joseph, huwag mong inuwanan ang asawa mo sabagat ang kanyang dinadala ay sa Espiritu Santo. Di ba mga kapatid? Kaya salamat sa Diyos, binigyan niya tayo ng tamang unawa. John 14.16 says that the Father will send another comporter, but verse 17 says that He, Jesus, dwelleth with them and should be in them later. In verse 18, He says, He will come to them. In verse 23, in speaking to the disciples, He said, We, Father and Son, will come unto Him. Thus it is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all coming in at the one time for it is one person. Kaya nga sabi ng prophet, the complete fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells in the church. Fullness yun, mga kapatid. Ibig sabihin, amen, lahat, all of the Father, amen, ibinuhos niya kay Christ and all that was in Christ, ibinuhos din niya sa bride. Amen. Thus, it is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all coming in at one time for it is one person uh, comprising the Godhead that took that then took place at Pentecost. Sila yung unang recipient. There aren't two comings of the Spirit. Oh, ito na, walang two comings. Just one. Amen. At yun daw yung new birth. The trouble is that people don't know the real truth. And they simply believe in Jesus for remissions of sin but never go on to receive the Spirit. Oh, they can uh, preach the Spirit. Amen. They can uh, preach the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They can preach the new birth. They can uh, preach born again, mga kapatid. Pero ang sabi ng prophet, they, they never go on to receive the Spirit. Amen. So dito na mapatid, pinaliwanag. Sa ilang punto na lang. Pinaliwanag na ng prophet, ano ba yung baptism ng Holy Spirit? Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? Now, nakikita na ng prophet yan. Amen. Kaya nagbigay siya ng uh, uh, kanyang uh, vision o kanyang uh, nabyu based dun sa kanyang uh, mga visions, no? So sabi niya, Let me tell you something. I know this is on tape. But here it comes anyhow. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. It's a shame. Amen. People trying to I've never believed that the Holy Ghost was shaking. I've never believed that the Holy Ghost was evidence of speaking in tongues or crying or shouting. Them is emotional. Amen. So pwede pala yung isang tao maging emotional. Pwede siyang umiyak, pwede siyang magalak. Nakita ko na yan many times. Pwede siyang magrejoice, but it is not the Holy Ghost. Amen. Or other, in other words, it's not the Holy Ghost in dwelling. Holy Ghost, effect of the Holy Ghost, magikita natin mamaya, pero yung Holy Ghost, hindi tumagos dun sa third realm. I believe the Holy Ghost can do that. But the Holy Ghost is tabernacling deity. So ang tunay na Holy Ghost, pinapaliwanag sa atin, ang Diyos mismo, ang deity mismo ay manahan. I believe a great bunch of people that claim to have the Holy Ghost Don't know one thing about it. You meet God. You have to meet God personally. Kasi pwede mong marinig about God. Pwede kang maniwala about God. 
Pwede mong uh, i-preach about God and that is the message in this day. But you have to meet God. Magkaiba yun, mga kapatid. So another one. That's what the matter today. People get worked out and excited, emotion, and it's not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is tabernacling deity. Your words is His words. Anong ibig sabihin? Sabi ng prophet, wala siyang paa sa panahon na ito maliban sa iyong mga paa. Wala siyang kamay maliban sa inyong mga kamay. Wala siyang tenga maliban sa iyong mga tenga. Wala siyang mga mata maliban sa inyong mga mata. At sabi ng prophet, wala siyang bibig maliban sa inyong mga bibig. At napakahalaga itong bibig na ito. Remember, the prophet said, Amen. Uh, quoting the scripture, Amen. The spirit and the bride say, Come. The spirit the prophet and the bride will be the saying the same thing. Because why? The final voice to the final age ay walang iba sabi ng prophet kundi yung bride. Merong ministry ang bride in this last day. And that is Revelation 10, 8 to 11. 10, 7, wala na po siya. Pero hindi nagtatapos doon. Merong Revelation 10, 8 to 11. Ano yun? Prophesy again. We have to prophesy again. We have to speak. Because the, the only way God can move is when you speak. And that is His way from the beginning. Amen. So maraming na excited in this day. Because they know about the Holy Ghost. Amen. Pero ano ang sabi ng prophet, mga kabatid? The choice of your conduct. You can mix it now. You're either of God or against God. Dalawa lang naman yan. Wala pong in between. You are either God or Satan. You are uh, either God or against God. And the outward expression shows exactly what's on the inside. Many of you think, I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to heaven. Pero hindi ganon, mga kapatid, kasimple. That don't mean one thing, that you're going to heaven. No, sir. You can have the baptism of the Holy Ghost every hour in your life and still be lost and go to hell. Hindi ako nagsabi. Ang prophet nagsabi. Amen. Saan na yun, Brother Eric? Oh. You're going to heaven. I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost at yan ang palasak na naririnig natin. But uh, we will see what is the real evidence. That don't mean one thing, that you're going to heaven. No, sir. You can have the baptism of the Holy Ghost every hour in your life and still be lost and go to hell. But ganun. Maybe we are questioned. We have questions about it. But nagkaganun. Now, listen. There's many people just can't believe it. Even spirited, spirit-filled people. I'm going to give you one that will choke you. Mabibilaukan kayo rito, sabi ng prophet. The baptism of the Holy Ghost don't mean you're going in. Not at all. Eh, ano, bakit ganun? Diba sabi niya kanina, baptism of the Holy Ghost and new birth is one and the same thing. Kasi marami kasing nagkunwari. Diba? Parang si Judas, he was instructed with the truth. 
he shared the knowledge of the mysteries. He cast out devil. And he was in the circle of the ministry of the Lord. Can you see it, saints? Amen. And then, brother Eric, ano? Bakit daw? So sabi ng prophet, not at all. Not on that. Don't have nothing to do with your soul. That's the baptism. Here's the inside soul. Yun ang mahalaga is in there that has to come from God. Kailangan yung soul ay galing sa Diyos. Amen. Now, anong nangyari kasi? Amen. Sabi niya rito, tuloy natin. But then on the outside, you have five senses. In let's contact your earthly home, itong body, ay may five senses to contact the earth. And the spirit, ay merong five senses to contact the spirit. At dun sa loob, mga kapatid, is the only way para yan makontak ng Diyos. Kung ang nandyan ay old soul or or old man, hindi niya yan makontak. Kaya kailangan ng baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire at ilagay niya yung mismong life niya. Ilagay niya yung mismong nature niya para anytime makontak niya. Parang cellphone lang din yan. ba? Diba? Pag ang uh, signal ay smart. E eh kahit na bago yung uh, SIM card mong globe. Hindi, hindi yan makakonek. Di ba? Kailangan magkaroon ka ng SIM card na smart. Di ba? Simple lang yun. But of course, don't take that literally because we are talking about spiritual things. Para makita lang natin yung idea. So, anong sabi ng prophet? Remember, in that spirit, you can be baptized with the genuine spirit of God and still be lost. So yung uh, Holy Spirit pala hanggang sa spirit realm lang siya. Pagdating sa loob, mga kapatid, sa uh, third realm, sa soul realm, inansid nothing to quicken. Wala siyang i-quicken doon. Wala siyang i-quicken na seed. Amen. So, kailangan meron kang representation na galing sa Diyos. Amen. So, anong gagawin niya? Dahil hindi niya makontak yung nandyan because that was permitted by God, sabi ng prophet, it was given, permitted by God. Kailangan, mga kapatid, hindi yung permitted. Kailangan yung perfect. Perfect na galing sa Diyos. At yun yung sabi ng prophet, na being mo from before the foundation of the world. Tayo pala ay attribute of God to begin with from the very start. Amen. So hindi, hindi sapat yung uh, Holy Ghost hanggang doon sa tinatawag na spirit realm. Kailangan tumagos doon sa third realm. Sabi ni John the Baptist, hindi ako karapat dapat na magbautismo sa kanya or karapat dapat lang magtanggal ng sintas ng kanyang sapatos. Siya ang magbabautismo sa inyo ng Espiritu Santo at apoy. At yun ang uh, pang-cleanse ng ating Panginoon ay by fire. Sabi ng prophet, ang cleansing process ng Diyos ay by sterilization through fire. Alisin yung worldly nature. Amen. At ilagay, equiken yung tinatawag na godly nature. Oh. Amen. So, sabi niya mga kapatid, so yung Holy Spirit hanggang doon lang sa spirit realm at hindi umabot doon sa third realm. Kailangan bang aabot sa third realm? Kailangan mga kapatid, para sa ganon, makwiken yung real you. Amen. Aba, may real you pala. Tandaan po natin, nung lumabas tayo 
sa bahay bata ng ating ina, lahat yan perverted. Body, spirit, and soul, lahat yan perverted and come short to the glory of God. For all have seen and come short, amen, to the glory of God. But the prophet said, it's not the person that comes predestinated, amen, eternally with God. Hindi, ah, magagat, magigit lang tayo. It's not the person that comes predestinated. It's the seed. It's the word. It's the mind of God. Amen. Di ba, mapadid? And if you are represented there, amen, you are redeemed. Ano yung redeemed? To bring, bas, to bring back us to our original position. Ibabalik lang ng Diyos kung ano yung tama at tumpak na bahagi natin sa Kanya. Now, sabi ng iba, I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit that still has nothing to do with it. That's just only a temporal gift to you. Amen. So, madidismaya ka ngayon. Akala ko ba mahalaga yung Holy Spirit. Akala ko ba mahalaga yung baptism ng Holy Spirit? But sabi ng prophet dito, that's just only a temporal gift to you. Amen? E malilito talaga yung nagbabasa. So yung ang purpose ng Holy Spirit, mga kapatid, para i-awaken niya. Para i-quicken niya kung sino ka talaga. Yun ay madaling pananalita. I-quicken niya Ipaunawa niya, ipaalam niya sa iyo na before the foundation of the world, kasama ka na niya bilang bahagi ng kanyang attribute because we don't believe in the pre-existence of soul. Amen. But we were there as an attribute. Nandun na sa kanya. Amen. Because why? Siya ay both masculine and feminine. Diba mga batid? And our pre-figure is Adam and Eve. Amen. Si Adam ay wangis at larawan ng Diyos. Remember that. And Adam was male and female. So anong ginawa lang ng Diyos? Sabi niya kay Adam, hindi nararapat na ang lalaki ay mag-isa. Igagawa ko siya ng katuwang niya. Anong ginawa niya? Amen pinatulog niya si Adam. That was a pe- prefigure of Calvary. Pinatulog si Christ sa Calvary, tinusok yung kanyang tagiliran at nilabas niya yung tubig, dugo, it's spirito at yan ang nag-constitute sa ating new birth. Inilabas yung bride sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagbayubay niya sa cross ng Calvaryo. Kaya madaling uh, i-preach, i- i- we are redeemed by the blood, we are washed by the blood, we are uh, uh, paid by the blood. Ang an dami, ang an, bilis ipangaral. Pero dapat makita natin yung tumpak na proseso ng ating Panginoon. So sabi niya, nandiyan na Brother Eric, The real gift is your soul down in there. See, that was born of God. And that controls the whole thing to the Word of God and the will of God. Amen. Kaya naintindihan natin ngayon why the prophet said, the old soul died and the new soul born unto you. Masyadong kinukomplicate kasi mga kapatid. Amen. Masyadong kinukomplicate. Hindi naman yan complicated. Amen. Hindi naman yan doctrine. Hindi naman yan teaching. That's a... That's an experience na ma-experience ng bawat individual. Hin- for me, hindi yan usapin. For me, hindi yan issue. Because that's your personal experience. Amen. Sa time ni Aring David, ang term niya, create in me a clean heart, O God. Meron na siyang heart, but he said, create in me a clean heart. Ibig sabihin yung heart niya before ay mali. Come on! Yung heart niya before ay nakatanaw ng uh, naliligo. Alam niyang may asawa, pinadala sa mainit ang uh, labanan para mamatay. Para makuha niya yung natanaw niya doon sa uh, 
ano na naliligo si Bathsheba, di ba? Pero hindi nagtatapos doon because David said, "Amen." Did David repented? Yes. Kaya nga sabi niya, "Create in me a clean heart, O God." Sa Ezekiel, ang sabi ni Ezekiel, palitan yung batong puso sa isang pusong laman upang makalakad sa yung alituntunin. Amen. Sa time ni Lord, you must be born again. O, sa time ni Paul, hubarin ang lumang pagkatao at ibihis ang bagong pagkatao na nilalang ayon sa katwiran at kabanalan. So, different terminology but pointing to one thing and that is new birth. Dumating ang prophet, mga kabadid. The old soul die and the new soul born unto you. Hindi yan complicated. Uh, complicated. Because that's the life. Amen na ma-receive natin. Paul said, he testified. Hindi na ako nabubuhay ang aking sarili. Sa aking sarili. Kundi si Kristo nang nabubuhay sa akin. ba? Diba? He said, Amen. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation. ba? Diba? You are a new creature. So hindi yan complicated for me. Because hindi yan doktrina, hindi yan teaching. It should be a personal experience. Born again is not just a doctrine. Born again is not a religion. Born again is not a group. Born again is a personal experience. Oh, kaya mong ang ipangaral, kaya mong himayin. Hindi mo naman naranasan, hindi walang saysay. Di ba mga kabadid? So mahalaga mga kabadid, makuha natin yung pinaka-substansya ng message na ito at i-enjoy natin. Amen. Amen. Now, ano ba yung evidence ng uh, receiving ng uh, Holy Ghost? So nakita na natin yung receiving ng Holy Ghost, magkaiba yung anointing, magkaiba yung indwelling. You can be anointed. Amen? But, Amen. Mas maganda yung mag-indwell mismo yung Holy Ghost. Manahan mismo yung Holy Ghost. And that's the deity tabernacling in man. Amen. Now, this was a testimony and correction of the Lord sa prophet himself. Regarding dun sa uh, evidence ng uh, baptism ng Holy Ghost. Sabi niya rito, Today, I was talking with my good friend, Dr. Libel, who is present now. And he's quite a theologian. And so we usually have some sort, have some pretty good discussions on the scripture. So this is a personal testimony of the prophet. Very smart. And he asked me one time what I thought about the initial evidence of the Holy Ghost. Ano ba yung initial evidence ng Holy Ghost? Was it speaking in tongues? It's been many years ago, I said. No. Can see that, he said. Neither do I. Kahit ako, sabi ni Dr. Liebel. Though I've been taught that, he said, what would you think would be an evidence? So at that time, nagsisharingan sila. Nagpapalitan sila ng kuro-kuro. Ano ba yung real evidence ng uh, uh, baptism ng Holy Ghost? I said, the most perfect evidence I can think of is love. So that was the thinking of the prophet. Wala akong ibang ma makita na ebidensya ng uh, baptism ng Holy Ghost kundi love. Which is part. Which is a part. And so we got to talking on that and then I thought that sounded pretty good so I just held that. Yun ang aking pinanghawakan. Yun ang aking tinayuan. Amen. If a man has got love, but one day, the Lord 
si Lord na mismo ang nag-correct. So we must see all these things, mga kabadid. Kasi pag si Lord ang nag-correct, tumpak yun. Hindi na natin pwedeng pangatwiranan yun. Amen. So sabi niya, But one day the Lord in a vision straightened me out. Itinuwid niya ako. Can you see that, saints? Kaya mahalaga itong mga bagay na ito. Amen. And he said, The evidence of the Spirit was those who could receive the Word. Kaya nilang i-receive yung Word all the way. Ano ba yung all the way? Tuloy-tuloy, mga kabadid, hanggang doon sa pagpapahayag na ng complete revelation of Jesus Christ. At ano ba yung complete revelation of Jesus Christ? Amen? Ngayon, ang tao ay mga ngatwiran. Si Lord yun. Yes, correct. Pero kung si Lord yun, sa masculine form, aba, alam na lahat yan. Even those who are in denominations, mga learned, alam nila ang patungkol kay Christ. Mas marami pa silang alam sa atin. Pinag-aralan mabuti. Di ba? May nakausap akong isang bishop. Ang sabi niya, hindi basta-basta sa pag-aaral sa, semina- ay sa, ano, sa Bible school. O meron pa silang masteral degree. Tinanong ko siya, ano yung masteral degree mo, sir? Ang aking masteral degree ay uh, uh, major in Christology. Diba? Meron palang major in Christology. Yung pala ay pag-aaral sa buhay mismo ng ating Panginoon. Pero ang sabi ng prophet, kailangan mahayag yung complete revelation of Jesus Christ. Bakit yun ang pa, yung nasa bibig ng prophet? At yun ang dapat nating maunawaan. Di ba mga abadid? Amen. Complete revelation of Jesus Christ. So balikan natin, sabi ng prophet, sa Christ is the mystery of God, of God revealed ang complete revelation of Jesus Christ ay makikita natin sa book of Genesis. Anong mayroon sa book of Genesis? Nandun yung prefigure, which is si Adam and Eve. Amen. Di ba mga badid? Si Adam, mga kabadid, pinatulog at kinuha, inihiwalay sa kanya si Eve. Amen. Ang sabi ng prophet, ganun din sa ating Panginoon, pinatulog siya sa kalbaryo upang ihiwalay yung tinatawag na manifestation ng kanyang bride. At nandito na ngayon tayo sa kung saan unti-unting minamanifest ng ating Panginoon ang bride and that bride is 2,000 years old bride. Amen. At nandito na tayo sa dulo, sabi ng prophet, ang bride ay nakatayo na siya sa kanyang dalawang mga paa at ready na siya na sumalubong sa Panginoon sa lapaap. So kailangan natin ma-receive yun. So kinurek siya. Sabi niya, the evidence of the Spirit was those who could receive the word. Neither love, nor speaking in tongues, but it's receiving the word. Amen. And then Dr. Bale was saying to me that that is scriptural. He said because in John 14, Jesus said, When the Holy Ghost is come upon you, He will reveal these things to you that I've taught you and will show you things to come. Tama nga rin naman. Pag ang Holy Spirit ay darating, the Spirit of Truth ay darating, i-reveal niya ang lahat ng truths. So yun pala ang tunay na evidence. At hindi lang i-reveal lahat ng truths, i-receive mo yun. And then finally, dun sa Revelation chapter 10, anong sabi? Eat the book. John, kainin mo yung aklat. Amen. And then the prophet said, kung anong kinain mo yung ka. Amen. Pag kinain mo yung aklat, ikaw ay magiging ganon. And then the prophet said, and the word again was made flesh. Anong word? Yung word bride. Amen. Of course, it's a long discussion, but ang na-reveal in this day, 
yung hindi pa na-reveal, yung masculine na-reveal na, at ang kulang na lang na ma-reveal in this day, by the way, it's already been revealed, sabi ng prophet, walang iba kundi yung word bride. Amen? At ang part ng word bride, magkaroon sila ng clear understanding. Amen? Sa kanilang position, and then the prophet said, and when the church knew her position, then one day, the rapture will go. Yun ang hinihintay na lang, mga kapatid. Amen? Once all the predestinated, elected of God, magkaroon na ng clear understanding, what is their position in their day, and then, the rapture will go. Hindi the rapture will come, the rapture will go. Hallelujah. So it's scriptural. Amen. So, there is the genuine evidence of the Holy Ghost. He has never told me anything wrong yet. Wala pa siyang sinabi sa aking mali. Sino ang Panginoon? Every time meron siyang iniisip na uh, kanyang kaisipan lang, tinutuwid talaga siya ng Panginoon. At yun ang ating uh, uh, kagalakan sa ating mga puso sabagat sigurado tayo sa ating tinatayuan. Amen. That it is the evidence of the Holy Ghost. Is He who can believe the Word? You can receive it because Jesus never said, when the Holy Ghost is come, you will speak in tongues. He never said, the Holy Ghost, you'll do any of those things. But He said, He will take these things of mine and show them to you and will show you things that is to come. So there is the genuine evidence of the Holy Ghost according to Jesus Himself. So anong ibig sabihin? Yung life ni Christ, amen, ay mapa sa atin, hallelujah, tayo ngayon, yung manifestation, vindication ngayon ng word in this day that we live. Amen. So hindi mo na kailangan na uh, lakaran yung word by your own. Our headship is the vindicated word in this hour. You cannot help God. And remember, God is obligated to quicken this word in this day. Pag sinabi ng ating Panginoon, may mga elect, may mga believers, maniniwala all the way, amen, meron talagang lilitaw. And I'm so blessed. I'm one of them. And I'm sure you are also one of them. And if that's so, then we are ready. Amen. To meet the Lord in the air. So marami talaga na dapat natin makita. It's not by our good works. We are not covered by our own good works, sabi ng prophet. Kailangan magkaroon tayo ng personal experience sa tinatawag na vindicated message, vindicated word in this day. Because that is our headship. Amen. So, it's a repeat. History is repeating itself. Sa time ni Lord, mga kabatid, Amen, nauulit lang sa ating time. Yung mga religious people, mga nagbabasa, amen, ng, uh, ng uh, scroll at that time, hindi nila nakilala ang ating Panginoon. Di ba mga kabadid? Kasi kung kilala nila, nakilala nila, sabi ni Paul, hindi sana siya pinako. Amen. Nandun na lahat nakasulat sa scripture. Yung kanyang ginagawa, from the very start to finish. A virgin shall conceive from the very start of his life. Nandun na sa scripture. Hallelujah. Di ba mga kabadid? Umaawit sila ng Passover, pero nandun na yung Passover. Kumakain sila ng unleavened bread, nandun na yung unleavened bread. Nagwawagayway sila ng first fruits. Amen. Nandun ang ating Panginoon na resurrect na. Di ba mga kabadid? It's the word fulfilling itself sa time nila. Pero yung mga nagbabasa, hindi nila nakilala. Buti pa yung mga ordinary mga tao at the time. Amen. Mga fishermen, simple men, hindi man sila babad. Amen. Sa mga scroll, sa mga scripture sa kanilang time. Pero nakita nila yung salita na nasa laman. And in this day, the same thing. Maraming ang gagaling sa message na ito. 
Ang gagaling maghimay, ang gagaling mangaral, known, kilala. Mga kabadid, but they fail to see the vindicated word in this hour. Ang vindicated word in this hour, walang iba sabi ng prophet, kundi ang word bride. Ibig sabihin, inalis na natin si Kristo, sabi ng isang pastor, hindi, natupad lang yung promise ng ating Panginoon. In that day, you shall know that I am in the Father. Ye in, ye in me, and I in you. 2,000 years ago, we were in Him. But now, He is in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hindi yan doctrine, hindi yan basta doctrine, hindi yan basta teaching. It's supposed to be, it is supposed to be a personal experience. E pag nakita nyo na yan, amen, nakikita nyo na ngayon, lahat ng scripture nag-rarans into continuity. Makikita mo yung whole picture. At wala kang ibang sasabihin kundi glory to God. Salamat Lord. Amen. Actually, ang kailangan natin ngayon in this day, amen, ay yung kagalakan sa ating mga puso because one of the most important element of the going away ay walang ba kundi ang exceeding joy. Hindi ka magkaroon ng exceeding joy pag wala kang katiyakan. Wala kang exceeding joy kung ikaw ay nasa kulungan. Walang exceeding joy kung nandun, sa ta- nandun ka sa kalagayan na pinapatulay ka sa alambre. Anong ibig sabihin? Yung pukpukin ka para makatupad ka sa salita ng Panginoon. Hindi yun ang kailangan. Sabagat kung ikaw ay elected, predestinated, baptized with a real, genuine, holy spirit of God from body realm, spirit realm, and soul realm, mga kapatid, you cannot help but to manifest the word for this day and hour. And that's the third pool. Third pool is the revealing of the fullness of the word in this day. Amen. So ano pa ang sabi ng prophet? Amen. I will read two more quotes maybe and then what's for our series this coming Sunday because again I will uh, we will see the identification of Pleiades and Hyades. Amen. If you are true seed you will hear that word. The Spirit will baptize you into the body of Christ, filling you, manahan sa iyo, and empowering you, and you will receive the word for your day and age. And what is the word for this age? Kaya nga tawag ng prophet dito sa age na ito, I bride age. Amen. Wala na tayo, sabi ng prophet, amen, sa Laodicea age. Ang Laodicea age ng mundo, tuloy-tuloy hanggang tribulation. Pero sabi ng prophet, wala na tayo sa Laodicea because we are caught up by the revelation of the seven thunders. Amen. And then, sabi niya, you will receive the word for your day and age. And what is the word for this day and age? Sabi ng prophet, Amen, word bride. Na-express na, na-reveal na ang word groom. That was 2,000 years ago. Amen, sa masterpiece na, uh, na message ng prophet, Old Testament is the husband, New Testament, Amen, I bride. Husband and wife. At malapit na mag-close ang New Testament. Amen. Naghihintay na lang ang Panginoon na ang lahat na predestinated, elected, ay mailagay sa kanyang perfect position. And then the prophet, mga kabatid, I will read ano yung kanyang testimony regarding this age. I am now identified in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not something out here on the street. Something 40 years ago. Bakit? 
40 years ago, it was a partial. Bawat age, nagka-receive sila ng Holy Ghost, pero ang word na na-receive nila ay partial word. A latted word. Pero pagdating sa ating time, fullness of the word. Amen. So sabi ng prophet, I am now identified in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Not something out here on the street, something 40 years ago. I have it right now, the glory and power of God. Amen. I have, right, I have it right now, sabi niya. The glory and power of God. Amen. Ayan. I am now identified. Ako ay napabilang. Ako ay kasali. Kasi siya naman talaga ang first fruits. Siya ang unang-una dito sa Bride Age. Ang pagkakaiba nila ni John the Baptist, si John the Baptist, pinora niya yung first coming. Amen. Si Brother Banham, pinora niya yung second coming. Inaabangan ng marami na si Lord Jesus Christ ang nandito sa eksena. Amen. Sa corporal body. Pero hindi po mga kapatid. Sa katunayan ha, sasalubungin natin siya sa alapaap. Pero nandito ang kanyang body. Ang tawag doon ay bride body na binubuo ng marami. Hindi lang isa. So, in-identify niya yung sarili niya dito sa bride age. Amen? Bagamat siya ay messenger ng uh, uh, Pentecostal age, yung last age, amen, Laodicea age, pero sabi niya, I am now identified in the baptism of the Holy Ghost not something out here on the street, something 40 years ago that was his first experience. I have it right now, the glory and power of God, of forgiveness of sins. Huh? Yes. Because the bride right now can forgive sins. By the way, sabi ng prophet, you can do now greater works and greater works is impart eternal life. Yan ang mabibigat mga kapatid, but it's in the word. Nasa word ba yon yung forgiveness of sins? Sino man ang patawarin nyo ay patatawarin. Sino man ang hindi nyo patatawarin ay hindi pa patawarin. Ano man talian nyo sa lupa, tatalian sa langit. Ano ba ang kalagan nyo sa lupa, kakalagan sa langit. And that was a promise. Kailan matutupad? This day. I see him heal the sick, open the blinded eyes, see him foretell things, read the hearts of the people. I am identified with him in his ministry at this day. Ano ba yung kanya ministry in this day? Son of man. Glory to God, I'm identified with him for deliverance in the last days. I trust to be a part of that great bride. Amen. That's coming some of these days. Amen. Itong darating na great part of the bride, which is coming in this day. Bakit mahalaga ito na kailangan magkaroon ng manifestation? Bakit kailangan ito na dumating sa eksena? Itong great bride na ito in these last days. Amen. Last quote. The entire Holy Spirit visits the church. Tignan nga brother Eric. The entire Holy Spirit dumating. Anong ibig sabihin? It's the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. To express yung part niya na feminine. The entire Holy Spirit, ayun, yan, pakibaba pa sa 21. The Holy Ghost is the token that the blood has been applied. 
because it follows the blood all the way from the book of redemption. You see it? That was the purpose of him coming. To make sure na nandun, na lahat na nandun sa book of redemption ay magkaroon ng expression or manifestation. See it? That was the purpose of him coming. That's what he followed in every age. Every age he has followed that to see that it's brought forth. Kailangan perfectly magkaroon ng manifestation. Every age he has followed that to see that it's brought forth. And they could not be made perfect without us. So yung mga nauna sa church ages, hindi ma-perfect without us. Hindi po ako nagsabi. Ang prophet ang nagsabi. And they could not be made perfect without us. Paano sila ma-perfect? And now the entire Holy Spirit visits the church. Making God in human flesh. Whose flesh? Your flesh. My flesh. The flesh of the body of Christ. The bride of Christ. Amen. Making God in human flesh as he did before Sodom. The burning there which was a type. Then Abraham, he appeared to him. And all the things that he has not done down through the ages, yung hindi niya nagawa sa ages, Amen, he is now doing. Back to the Word. Because the messages and the messages and the messages has to wind up in the entire Word. When we say entire Word, the fullness of the Word. And that's the person of Christ himself expressed in different form, the prophet said. What form? In bright form. Amen. And in the last days, the seven seals being opened was to pick up every struggle that's been left off in it. Yung mga kulang nila sa church ages, pero lahat ngayon ay nakumpleto. Lahat ay na-reveal in this day. Amen? And make the whole thing in one great big body of the bride. When we say great big body of the bride ay yung mula sa day of Pentecost hanggang sa ating time. That's the reason why the prophet said, I am Alpha and Omega. Alpha AIDS and Omega AIDS. Amen? And then, he said, mga kabadid, the prophet cannot make a mistake about it. He said, she is the Alpha and Omega. Why? Because that was the expression of the feminine part of him. Amen. So ano nangyari ngayon? The whole thing in one great big body of the bride, that them who live back there was not perfect until this church be perfected. Yun ang salita ng Panginoon. Be ye perfect for your Father in heaven is perfect. And there's only one perfect. And that is God. And you must be identified with that God. You cannot make yourself perfect. No way. Because there is only one perfect and that is God. And the only way you can be perfected is when you are identified with that God who is expressing himself in this day in different form. In what form? The prophet said, he is now revealing himself in the bride form. Amen. So kailangan yung church umabot sa perfection. Amen. At sino ang aabot doon? Sabi niya, this bride group in the last days to bring them in. So my ministry, I'm bride in the last days. Ano daw? To bring them in. And all together be taken up. Paano? It's not our power. It's the power of God through these lips. So we speak resurrection because the final voice to the final age is the voice of the bride. So we can see that more this coming Sunday. Amen. Taurus. Amen. The coming judge. Amen. So salamat sa Panginoon. I believe na place natin positionally, amen, what is really the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So hindi pwedeng huminto. Hindi dun sa simula. 
hindi sa pagsimula na tinanggap mo lang tong message nito. Kailangan you have to go all the way. Anong all the way? Pagdating ng tinatawag na third pull, which is the revealing of the word. At nung na-reveal yung word, you identify, you see your name on it. Hindi literal name, sabi ng prophet, it's the mystery being unfolded. At wala kang magagawa kundi you say, Amen. 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 Because why? You have a clear understanding about this word being unfolded in this last day. So salamat sa Panginoon. We are really so blessed. Amen. It's lengthy but uh, I believe uh, nakabigay sa atin ng uh, pagpapala uli sa hapon na ito. At mas makita pa natin ng klaro ito this coming Sunday because i-identify ng Panginoon yung two groups. One, yung congregation of the judge and then the congregated people. Amen. Iba yung bride. Sabi ng prophet, ang highest calling ay bride. Pero maraming other covenants which will be living outside the city. But the bride will be inside the city. Amen. Sitting as the queen of the king. Amen. So salamat sa Panginoon sa hapon na ito. At uh, I will give it to Brother Eric for the remaining time. God bless you, Brother Eric. Wala si Brother Joe Ed, but uh, I know. Amen. We will uh, just continue. Amen. Following this flow. Praise the Lord. Salamat sa Panginoon. Patuloy na pangungusap niya sa atin, I would say, ng mga pangapanghuling mga salita. No, mga kapatid, sapagkat uh, ating uh, Ninamnam ang, uh, I would say, parang it's a summary. Actually, summary and you do only summarizing. Kung magsasummarize ka lang kapag sa huli na talaga. Hindi ka nagsasummarize sa unahan. No? So, that shows na kung nasa saan talaga tayo mga kapatid. At uh, sa summary, dyan nakikita lahat ng highlights talaga. Dyan talaga binuhos lahat ng highlights. During the ages, Nandiyan yung mga details eh. Nandiyan yung mga details. Uh, so, and God is uh, uh, sa ganong sitwasyon, kapag nag-uumpisa pa lang siya, hindi mo siya mabigyan ng konklusyon. No? Kaya nga, i- i- isa pa, yung Wednesday and Sunday may series tayo. No? We're blessed. <laughs> Kaya, pakainam talaga ng disenyo ng Panginoon na yung pastor ay teacher. <laughs> Kasi talagang ibabak up ka talaga lahat ng Panginoon, no? Uh, pastor talaga ay teacher kasi nailalatag ito ng napakaliwanag. And uh, nakakagalak talaga na it's it's like parang ito ay talaga namang ano, hindi ito hindi ito bago pero laging bago. <laughs> Kasi di ba, mga kapatid, ni, binalikan lang ito pero lagi itong bago sa ating mga kapatid. And then this third part of this uh, uh, I would say series kasi three parts na, no? Is the last part, conclusion. The conclusion of the journey. Uh, the conclusion of the journey. And uh, uh, alam natin, umpisa sa una sa lahat, walang mangyayari kung hindi umpisa ng Diyos. So, alam natin yung journey. The journey started from uh, mula doon sa pag-aalis sa kanila sa Egypt. Okay? So, kung hindi maglit ang Diyos ng uh, panimula, yun ay ang kanyang uh, kausapin niya, yung lingkod na propeta niya. Yun, ganun siya lagi nag-uumpisa. Diba? Pag may kinausap na siyang propeta, yan na yan, may gagawin na yung Panginoon dyan. Okay? So, maraming gagawin ng Panginoon dyan. At nung kausapin niya yung uh, kanyang prophet, ganito yung gagawin mo. Panahon na ang uh, na alalahanin uh, ko ang aking bayan. Uh, rinig ko ang kanilang iyak. Okay? 
narinig ko yung kanilang iyak at uh, sila ay uh, aalisin ko sa pagkaalipin. At uh, hindi lang basta aalisin, tayo ay maglalakbay patungong pangakong lupa. Okay? Patungong pangakong lupa. Nan- at nakita natin sa umunahan or sa umpisa ng journey na ito, dito pa lamang pinakita na ng Panginoon yung mga grupo. Okay? When, when God started this journey, dito lumabas yung mga hindi mananampalataya. Tama po ba? Dito lumabas. Bakit? Nung, nung umpisa na ng Panginoon yung journey, hindi lang naman yung journey nag-start when they really come out of the gate, literally. But when this, when God started to speak to, to His prophet para kung ano yung sasabihin doon, instruction para sa kanyang bayan. Umpisa na yan, mga kapatid. At doon pa lang, meron ng mga hindi tumalima. Doon pa lang. No? Journey pa lang yun. Hindi pa yun, hindi pa conclusion yun. No? Meron ng mga hindi tumalima. At nakita natin, lahat ng hindi tumalima ay naiwan. Right? So, in other words, Uh, aside from the fact na alam natin, because it is written that it, it, it was 2.5 million ang lumabas, uh, with this revelation, alam natin na merong naiwan. Kaya nga merong tinatawag na ano eh, no? meron message na, na jubilee kung saan, kung, kung saan meron papalayain sa after ng 50th year, no? Ju- uh, pagtungtong ng 50th year, tapos yung ayaw ng lumaya, magpapapakaw na. Or yun yung word namin eh. Ginagamit. Magpapahikaw na. Totally, kahit anong ilang beses pa tumunog yung trumpet or yung jubilee sounding, wala na. Wala na. Doon na siya talaga magsisilbi. So, from that, we know that it's also in the message that the unbelievers belongs to that group who were left unbeliever, who were left in that starting of journey. Hindi nag-come out. Unbeliever talaga yun, mga kapatid. Now, eh, yun na, na, ano na, na-separate na kagad isang group. But there's, there's, that there's another two groups. Okay? Along the journey, dun, dun sa loob ng journey, nandun yung second group. Which is what? Which is the make-believer. <laughs> Nasa journey sila, tama po ba? So, perfect. Kasapagkat ang journey is it's still ongoing in one sense. Kasi sinabi sa atin, yung real baptism of the Holy Ghost, God will show you things that is to come. Habang naglumalakad tayo mga kapatid, patuloy nagahayag ang Diyos. Magiging antikristo tayo, pinaunawa at pinahayag sa atin ng Panginoon kung pangunahan natin siya. Di ba mga kapatid? Kaya nga merong faith, may revelation na tatanggapin mo kung ano yung you, you are not to produce but to accept. Merong ano, merong kasi kung kung ganun mga kapatid, may igiging extreme ka. Bakit ka pa atin ng gawain? Di ba mga, ganun kahalaga yun mga kapatid? Yan yung, yan yung mga, yan yung isa sa evidence pati na baptized ng Holy Ghost, nagpapatuloy ka ngayon sa ministry. At you are identified to that ministry. You are not just under that ministry, but you are identified to that ministry. Ka, kasama ka sa ministry. Ganun yung pagpapatuloy mga kapatid as you go. Alam nyo mga kapatid, doon sa papuntang promise land, lahat talaga ay, ay, ay nag, meron silang involvement. Involved talaga bawat isa. Mayroong ginagampanan bawat isa. Pagkaalis ng, tu, uh, ng, ng uh, tulos ng tent, lahat sila nagmumove. Di ba? Papunta doon talaga sa promise land. So, 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 so we were here. No? At uh, kanina ay uh, nabigyan ng uh, diin yung mga dahilan. At doon, na, doon ipinanganak yung mga make-believer. In other words, doon na show yung color nila along the journey. Remember saints, it's a journey. To begin with, nakaalis sila doon. Sa pagkaalipin, they all believe. Di ba mga naniwala sila na itong deliverance na ginagawa ni Prophet Moses ay act, act of God. Act of God mga kapatid. Kung hindi, di naman sila ano eh. Di naman sila susunod eh. But they, they this make believers show their colors when it comes mga kapatid na patunayan na ng Panginoon kung sino talaga yung mga true believer. And at the beginning of this series, of this uh, specific topic, which is the journey uh, to the promised land, mga kapatid, directa na, nandun na yung sagot, actually, yung conclusion. When <laughs> yung sabihin ng Panginoon, the promised land is the bride day. Araw ng bride. Ano ba yung araw mo, bride? Pagkaarawan mo, mga kapatid, mahalaga yan. Pinagdiriwang yan. 
Di po ba mga kapatid, sa lahat ng kaarawan, yung birthday mo ang hindi mo malilimutan. Sabi mo lang yun na ano, hindi ko na maalala. It's, it's either na nasa sawa ka na maghanda or what, or kung ano man mga kapatid, sabi mo lang, pero hindi mo malilimutan yung kaarawan mo yan. Mga kapatid, kahit ano pa yung itanala sa birth certificate mo, yan ay isa sa parang identity mo yan, kaarawan mo yan mga kapatid. And the promised land is the bride day. Diba mga kapatid? And uh, the bride day, ang kaarawan ng, uh, uh, ang pagdiriwang ng kaarawan ng nobya ay pagpapatuloy. All the way. Ganyan siya magdiwang. Di po ba? The reason why yung iba hindi makapagdiwang sa promised land, sa bride day, mga kapatid, bakit? Hindi sila, hindi nila araw yun. Kahit anong gawin nila, hindi nila araw yun, mga kapatid. Sa ayaw at sa gusto nila, titirik sila, maghihinto sila sa journey. Di ba mga kapatid, ma- ma- mahirap, mabigat po yun, mabigat po talaga mga kapatid. There, there is a thought one time na, na, na race uh, sa atin, or, uh, kung naaalala niyo yun mga kapatid, na um, along the journey, wala doon yung Polish Virgin. Di ba mga kapatid? Yung mga naiwan. Right? Uh, using that type. Di ba mga kapatid? Kasi hindi po pwedeng magmix. Hindi pwedeng magmix mga kapatid totally. So uh, uh, um, and then and then uh, since and when is the the keyword also because uh, 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 God referred to that text on Acts chapter 19 where Paul asked these believers of followers or disciples of uh, John the Baptist, right? Uh, and During ano yung yung narinig yung narinig nito mga disciples ni John the Baptist I would say parang ganoon na rin yung pastor di ba taga sunod ni John the Baptist naniwala sila kay John the Baptist na may darating na Messiah wala namang masama doon kaya lang kulang pa kulang pa mga kapatid yung darating na Messiah di ba mga kapatid ngayon bagamat si Paul nung dumating si Paul ano edi edi tingnan niyo yung ano ng message yung ikot ng message Si Paul, nababtize na. Nung nababtize si Paul, wala na si Lord. Nagkaroon na ng ascension. Meron pang namit si Paul na mga disciples ni John the Baptist. Right? Merong something doon sa kung bakit pinaintulutan ng Panginoon yun. Wala na si Lord Jesus Christ. Si Paul na, isa pa mga kapatid, kung makilala lang talaga, siguro kung una nilang nakilala yung background ni Paul, una sa lahat, hindi na sila makikinig kay Paul. Yung mga ele- tingnan niyo mga kapatid, isang bagay yan mga kapatid eh. Tingnan niyo dito, unang-una, yung leading ng Holy Spirit. Ito yung ginawa sa atin. Ito talaga, this is how he really works re- talaga mga kapatid. Yung scripture at saka yung spoken word walang pinagkaiba. Walang pinagkaiba yan. Bakit? Yung scripture, yung scripture mismo binabasa nila tapos nagkaroon sila ng iba't ibang mga unawa diyan. Di po ba? Yung yung uh, Uh, yung quote, binasa nila, kagaya ng perfect yung example ni, ni Pastor, binasa nila, nadaanan lang nila na you should shut your uh, TV, oh, you should shut your TV, ganun na, naging legalista na sila. Without balance, yung understanding talaga, or what mga kapatid, doon na lang talaga sila, nagtirik na lang sila doon talaga ng, ng tolda nila, dito na lang tayo, walang projector na pwedeng ano, pag may lisensya, hindi pa tatawin sa pulpit, et cetera, et cetera, hindi tayo kukuha ng mga government IDs, et cetera, et cetera, naging legalista na sila, because ganun lang talaga, and they have proof. As pastor said, regarding pa sa main topic, which is the new birth, maliban doon sa pagiging legalista, hanggang doon sa main topic, yung pinakamalagang topic about the new birth, two comings of the Spirit, yung mga teaching na yun, they have proof. Di ba mga kapatid? Before the seals. Before the seals mga kapatid. Ngayon, yung, yung leading ng Holy Spirit mga kapatid, alam natin na si Father Balham ay gaya rin natin. Right? Gaya din natin na sumusunod kaya meron highlight na binanggit si Pastor. Kaya tayo masaya kasi alam natin kung anong tinutungtungan natin. Ang tinutungtungan natin ay hindi yung sinabi ni Brother Banham, kundi yung sinabi ni, ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Brother Banham. Yun yung nakita mo ngayon mga kapatid. Ang nagkulong sa mga so-called message churches ay ang sinabi ni Brother Banham. Pero never magkulong sa tao, sa tunay na believer, ang sinabi ng Diyos kay Brother Banham. 
yun ang nagbibigay sa atin ng katiyakan. Bakit? Sino ngayon yung maghahalungkat ng Bible para malaman niya yung kalooban ng Diyos kung walang prophet? Sino? Sige. Sino? Kahit ministers, tanungin natin. Sino? Oh, hindi na natin tanungin yung outside this message. Yung inside this me- yung mga so-called believers, tanungin natin. Sino sa inyo ang magde-decide kung anong kalooban ng Panginoon maliban sa prophet ng Diyos? Saan kayo kukuha? Saan ka magiging panatag? Di po ba mga kapatid? The word comes to the prophet. That's the word mga kapatid. Amen. Even the Lord Jesus Christ himself, hindi sa kung saan-saan nagpa-introduce, kundi sa kanyang prophet. Si John the Baptist. Hindi siya kung saan-saan nagpa-baptize, kundi kay John the Baptist. Di po ba? Even the Lord himself. So that's the pattern, mga kapatid. So so we're blessed. We're blessed. And that that scenes in when, mga kapatid, we're, we're, is napakalinaw eh. Di po ba mga kapatid? Hindi yung uh, na-receive nyo ba ang Holy Ghost nang kayo ay maniwala? Di ba mga kapatid? O kaya naman, natanggap nyo ba ang banal na espirito? Uh, ano ba yun? Yung when? Tsaka since. Parang naintindihan natin pero ang hirap paliwanag. Ano? O, di ba na natin paliwanag? Naintindihan naman. O parang ganun. Nung maniwala sila, yun na ba yun? Parang ganun ano? Yun na ba yun? Kundi ang tinatanong, ang tinatanong ni Paul is, mula nung maniwala kayo, meron na ba kayong na-receive na Holy Spirit? Ang linaw na eh. Kaya nga, kung pwede lang, hindi na sumusog kay pastor, malinaw na kanina eh. <laughs> Nauutal-utal, patuloy ako rito mga kapatid, nagpapaliwan. Kasi mahalagang parte yun mga kapatid, ng baptism. And, 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 and perfectly, kaya, kaya ginamit ng Panginoon ngayon yung, uh, yung uh, new birth, doon sa conclusion ng journey to the promised land kasi yun talaga ang new birth ay conclusion ng journey to the promised land remember uh, the promised land is the bride day di po ba mga kabatid yung ipanganak kang muli na malaman mo na ikaw ay nasa promised land kung hindi ang paglalakbay mo ay baliwala kung hindi ka ipanganak muli mga kapatid. So So we 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 we've, we've noted that that believing Jesus is just a start. It's just a start. The, you know saints, these are the words, these are the praises na narinig natin fresh ngayon ang hindi kayang lunukin o unawain ng pangkaraniwan o lahat-lahat. Di ba yan mga kapatid? Pag sinabi mong pag naniwala kay Kristo, hindi pa yan. What? Ba- parang sabi mo, binabangga mo na lahat ng Bible. Eh, yun lang ang susi, maniwala kay Kristo. Tingnan nyo mga kapatid, totoo lang. Pero ito yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin, mga kapatid. Umpisa lang yan. Susi pa lang, ah, kumbaga pintuan pa lang yan, hindi ka pa nakakapasok. Di po ba? Bakit? Alam naman natin, maraming naniniwala kay Jesus ngayon. Di po ba? So, umpisa pa lang yan, mga kapatid. Now, mga kapatid, now, ah, uh, ah, uh, Kunti lang to, Hindi na ako man ako magbabasa ng, ng quote. No? Now, we, 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 it is perfectly connected. The, the, the conclusion to this journey to the promised land is the real baptism of the Holy Ghost. At binigyan sa ating kanina ng isa pang, I would say, para sa iba, until now, it's still controversial. Bakit? Baptism of the Holy Ghost na... <laughs> Ay na, matindi ngayon mga kapatid. Akala ko ba, okay na, baptism of the Holy Ghost na, and you still go to hell. And then, Brother Van Ham clearly uh, declared or explained or preached about those who were baptized in the spirit realm. In other words, in other words, ano, ganito, no? The Holy Spirit that quickens the seed is available. What can you do? There are peoples that are really sincere in their hearts, but non-seed. What can you do? Anong gagawin mo ngayon eh? Season ng Holy Spirit nasa season. Kaya nga, you remember the, the, the experience of Father Banham where he, he told us na sinabi niya, there were two listeners during the service. After the service, one conclude 
Galit na galit yung isa. That pre- I hate that preacher. Why? That preacher called me a bu- uh, buzzard. Yung isa, sabi niyo, what? Sabi niya, ba't ganun? Ang dinig ko. Sabi niya sa akin, igil ako. Magkaiba sila. Same message, mga kabatid. So, what can you do? Anong magagawa mo? Nandito yung Holy Spirit, nagpukwiken. They fill the pool, but they don't have the pool. They can fill the pool. Di ba, ano ba talaga yung hatak? In Nancy, there's nothing to be quickened. Wala kang magagawa, mga kapatid. Kaya nga, tama si pastor. Magpapakahirap ka na i-convert mo yung kambing para maging tupa. Yan yung ginagawa nila, mga kapatid. Kaya hinahataw, e, ganito, ganito. Pag kambing, kambing yan. Pero pag tupa yan, mga kapatid, pakainin mo lang yan, ang, lagdalin mo yan sa greenest pasture, tataba yan. Lalabas yan yung puting lino, ano yung puting balahibo niyan. We, alam nyo mga kapatid, we're, we're still learning talaga. We're, we are, numahakbang tayo doon sa pagkaalam talaga ng kabuuan. Lahat yan mga kapatid, mga kapatid, with this, uh, with this ministry na binibigay ng Panginoon sa ating lahat, hindi lang sa fivefold, sa ating lahat mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. Now, um, sabi ni Bada Banham kanina, the real baptism of the Holy Ghost, those Baptism of the Holy Ghost in the spirit realms are just temporary. The real gift is your soul. Yun yung tunay na kaloob, mga kapatid. Ngayon, kung nandyan ang Holy Spirit, imposible naman at merong binhi yan, imposibleng hindi makwiken. <laughs> imposibleng hindi makwiken, mga kapatid. Yun yung tunay na sinasabi ni Pastor dito, hindi mo kailangan pilitin o kalburuhin. Kapag nandiyan yung word, yung word, the word that we hear is the quickener of the seed. Yun lang mga kapatid, yung seed nandiyan, yung preaching ng word nandiyan mga kapatid. Pag nag-meet sila, makukwiken yung word. Di ba mga kapatid, hindi na sa spirit realm, tagus siya talaga doon mga kapatid. At siya ay manahan. Hindi na sa spirit realm. Di po ba? At yung, eto na, yung journey ano, yung journey, eto na. Kapag ka yung Seed na yan ay makwiken. Anong sabi ng prophet kanina? Yung susi, isa sa mga susi. Di po ba? Isa sa mga susi. Una, balikan natin konti kay, kay, kay Paul. Balikan natin kay Paul. Itong mga tagasunod or disciples ni John the Baptist, kung hindi mga binihiyan, hindi basta-basta maniniwala kay Paul yan. Kasi yung mga turo ni Paul, di ba? Tingnan nyo hanggang ang, anong sagot nila. Saan paano kayo nababtize? Sa baptismo ni John. Di ba ang layo na? Ang layo na, ang dami nang nangyari. Sila ay nasa baptismo pa rin ni John. Pero dahil binhi sila, naniwala sila sa presenting man of God. Yun yung way, isa yung way mga kapatid. Yung real man of God, hindi mo i-reject. Ano man ang sabihin niyan patungkol sa salita ng Panginoon mga kapatid, yan ay mauunawaan mo. Hindi lang basta tatanggapin na. Mauunawaan mo mga kapatid. Maraming sympathizer sa message. Pag nakarinig ng magaling mag-preach, oh, mas tama yun ah. Pag nakarinig ng mas maganda mag-present, mas tama yun ah. Nasaan sila ngayon? Right? Hindi mo, wala ano, uh, uh, unstable yung foundation. Sinking sand. Di po ba mga kapatid? Hindi lang basta tanggapin, tanggapin mo dahil naunawaan mo yung message. Di po ba mga kapatid? Praise the Lord. So yan ay susi, mga kapatid. At kapag naunawaan mo, sabing ganon, anong ginawa nila? Naniwala sila sa tunay na baptismo. Hindi nila question na. Nagpabaptize na nga kami kay John sa pamamagitan ni John. Magpapabaptize pa ulit kami kay John sa kay Jesus name, in Jesus name. Wala. Automatic and kinuwikin ng Panginoon uh, uh, and laid his hand. Paul laid his hand on them, mga kapatid, and they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And what they done? They prophesied. Not just prophe- they, they, not just speaking in tongues. They prophesied. At dyan, malaking tipak yan sa message. Because Revelation 10.11 speaks about it, the ministry of the bride in the last days. Bakit? Bakit ka magpo-prophesied? Uh, uh, bakit ka magpo-prophesied? At ano ang ipo-prophesied mo? Kung walang ibinigay sa'yo, kung walang ipinakita sa'yo na mga bagay na parating. Susi yan kanina. nang baptism of real uh, real baptism of the holy ghost 
it will show you things that is to come. Bakit? Paano? Anong paano mo sasabing prophesying kung nangyari na? Kung nangyari na mga kapatid, God will God is obligated to show you things that is to come. Bakit ikaw yung magpo-prophesy? Di po ba mga kapatid, diyan yung mga susi at diyan tayo nagagalak. Bakit sigurado tayo sa lakad natin na may tutunguhan? Hindi tayo sumusuntok sa hangin. Di po ba? Ano man ang sinasabi natin, yung binabanggit habang nagsasalita tayo, kahit nakaupo tayo diyan mga kapatid, though we just punctuate, not just, we're doing this work really together. We just punctuate it with clear understanding, amen, mga kapatid. We agree to the word. Anong gusto niyang mangyari? So be it. That's nothing but the truth, then so be it. We're blessed. Uh, salamat sa Panginoon. Again, sabi ng prophet, this revelation make, makes us humble. And what is humility? What is humble? Sabi ng prophet, we know the word being manifested in us. Amen. So yun ang tunay na humility, makita mo yung word at saka ikaw ay nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na uh, realization. Amen? At uh, ang sabi ng prophet, hindi ka ngayon parang napipilitan na gawin ang salita ng Panginoon dahil narinig mo lang. Amen? Yung para bang wala kang uh, sariling uh, yung bang direction, kundi nakasalalay ka lang, You know what, mga kapatid? Ang ministry ay pinadala ng Panginoon to guide us. Yung pastor ay binigay, yung fivefold ministry binigay to guide us, just to speak the word. Pero never ang uh, fivefold ministry, hawakan kayo sa leeg. No. Kayo ay mahalaga sa Panginoon, kaya siya nagpadala ng fivefold ministry. And this fivefold ministry will serve will serve you because kayo ay mahalaga sa Panginoon. Amen. Now, ang purpose ng fivefold is just to preach the word. Yun lang mga kapatid, kaya nga nung paman sinasabi ko sa inyo, ako ay kampante na makakasama ko kayong sasalubong sa Panginoon because I know, yung binabangkit ko, the word that I say here, that I speak here, Amen. Ay galing yan sa Panginoon. And I am, I'm confident everything that we speak, it will come to pass. Yun yung way ng ating Panginoon. Ayaw ni Lord na kayo ay parang uh, parang uh, dinodomina. Ayaw ni Lord na kayo ay pinipilit sa isang bagay. Una, hindi pa panahon. Lalong-lalo na kung hindi kayo nakatalaga doon. Pero I'm confident right now, everyone who is here, Amen. Nakita ko na na makakasama ko talaga kayo sa pagsarubong sa Panginoon. Now, sabi ng prophet, you don't manufacture the word. Amen. Mahirap yung i-manufacture mo yung word. Example ng prophet, yung tupa. Sabi ni Brother Eric kanina, hindi mo napipilitin yung tupa na magpatubo ng malanyebeng balahibo. Bakit? Siya ay tupa to begin with. Same thing with us. If we are part of this word bride, automatically, mga kapatid, yung, yung word ay magmamanifest yan. Sisibol yan. Unang-una, you say, Amen. And it will come to pass. It will manifest. Amen. Nakakita ba kayo ng may nagturo sa isdang lumangoy? Wala. Siya ay dinisign na may palikpik. Di ba? Dito sa gilid para mabalanse niya yung sarili niya doon sa tubig at meron din palikpik sa likod para siya ay mag-move. Amen. Automatically because he was designed, amen, sa ganun. Amen. At tayo ay bride ni Lord, hindi ka kailangan ni Kalburo para i-manifest mo yung uh, word for your day and age. Automatically, every time you hear this word, amen, nakikita mo na lang yung sarili mo Amen. Ito pala. Yung, kaya pala masaya ako. Amen. 
hindi ka nahihirapan, di ba? Everything na sinasabi ng word, amen, yun ang namamalayan mo na lang sa sarili mo, nagagawa mo, na hindi mo kailangan na pilitin yung sarili mo. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? Kasi pag kalburo, maasim. Di ba? Pag sasaging, mapakla. Kailangan sa tamang panahon. Amen. At alam nyo ba mga kapatid? Ito na yung panahon. Eh, sabi ng prophet, the bride is now standing upon her feet. When the church knew her position, who you are in Christ, then, Amen. We will meet Him in the air. Amen. Of course, bago yun, kailangan yung body change. Kailangan bumagsak yung wall of Jericho. Amen. Para ma-receive natin yung uh, tunay na victory. Victory is not, is not a gift. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? Amen. Hindi ito yung parang uh, ano lang tayo. Amen. Di ba? Kundi mga kapatid ay uh, binigay talaga with the guidance and leading ng Panginoon sa bawat isa. So salamat sa Panginoon sa hapon na ito. I pray na maka makapagbigay uli ng uh, kagalakan sa ating uh, puso ang uh, narinig natin. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Then, uh, this coming Sunday, we will continue on uh, uh, the first Bible, the Masaroth, uh, the Sojak, at doon na tayo sa bagong uh, uh, yung start natin, yung new house, which is yung Taurus. Okay, and then uh, next will be Orion. So, sunod-sunod dyan, pertaining all to this age that we are living. Amen. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Last dyan ay yung Leo, the lion. Brother Banam said, Amen. He is now a uh, lion in this day. Amen. So, salamat sa Panginoon. Tayo po lahat ay uh, uh, tumayo. Awitin natin yung It's the Spirit before we pray. If words could describe just how I feel inside, I'd write a song concerning my dear Lord. The words would be beyond compare to any ever heard. They glorify the one that I adore. But my words could not explain just why he bore our shame. No praise could quite convey the love he showed. My song could never fill the heart of a hungry, thirsty soul. But the Spirit in God's Word could make them whole. It's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit in God's Word that makes them whole. It's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Why don't you let God's Spirit in your soul? If love could project starting within his bride, the reason for her fears would all subside. 
If she attains the robe of white, dressed in all his grace, the love of Christ will shine upon her face. But her love cannot be known if Christ was never shown. The life in which that love in her has grown. Her love could never win a heart of a lost and lonely soul. But the Spirit in her words can make them whole. It's the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, it's the Spirit in God's Word that makes them whole. It's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, why don't you let God's Spirit in your soul? Why but don't you let God's Spirit in your soul? Just let God's Spirit in your soul. Hallelujah. Salamat Lord sa gabi na ito. Sa patuloy Panginoon na pagpapahayag mo ng iyong mga salita. At dito kami, Lord, tumutungtong. Dito kami sumasandig sapagkat, Lord, tunay nga sinabi mo, langit at lupa ay lilipas. Ngunit ang iyong mga salita kailanman ay hindi lilipas, Panginoon. At hindi lang kami nabubuhay sa tinapay, kundi bawat salita na namumutawi sa iyong mga labi. At salamat, Lord, na meron kang ginagamit na mga labi sa huling panahon na ito upang uh, patuloy na bang, bigkasin, patuloy na banggitin ang iyong mga salita. Sapagkat, Lord, ikaw ang nagsabi kung ano ang pamamaraan mo nung una, yun ang uh, pamamaraan mo hanggang sa dulo. At kung uh, paano ang lahat ng bagay ay nalikha sa pamamagitan ng binigkas na salita, lahat din ng mga bagay na kailangan maganap sa huling panahon ay sa pamamagitan ng binibigkas na salita. At salamat, Lord, na merong ka ministry in this day. Nagsugo ka ng propeta, wala ng propeta, ngunit merong naiwan na ministry at yun ang uh, na, 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 nagmamanifest ngayon in this day at yun ay walang iba kundi ang ministry ng bride in the last days. So salamat, Lord, sa lahat ng ito. Ito ang patuloy, Lord, na nagbibigay sa amin ng uh, tunay na Kapanatagan, ito ang nagbibigay sa amin ng tunay na katiyakan sa paglilingkod. Ito, Lord, ang nagbibigay sa amin ng tunay na kagalakan na alam namin, Lord, na hindi na kaya na ibigay ng mundo na ito sapagkat, Lord, sa iyo lang ito nagmumula at ito ay nakalaan na sa amin bago pa itatagan sa libutan. Dalain ko, God, na patuloy namin na, uh, akapin ang uh, pagpapahayag mo at iling namin na patuloy ka pa, Lord, na magsambit sa mga panghuling instruction sa amin before we, get, we receive the body change, Panginoon. At dalangin ko, Lord, na patuloy mong bigyan ng uh, inspiration, ng desire, ang puso ng bawat isa na patuloy na sumubaybay sa pagpapahayag ng iyong mga salita. Salamat, Lord, at sa gabi na ito, kung meron mang kahilingan, hindi man nila nasambit sa kanilang mga labi. Dalangin ko, God, na turuan mong bawat isa na ang lahat ng ito ay uh, bigkasin, sambitin with faith, Lord, sa bawat puso namin. At ito ay, Lord, magkakaroon ng uh, kaganapan. Salamat, Lord, at uh, uh, patuloy mong i-bless ang bawat isa sa lahat ng aspeto ng blessing. Ito man ay material, financial, physical, Lord, digit sa lahat, sa spiritual, na ito, Lord, ay patuloy naming ini-enjoy. Dalangin ko, God, na ingatan mo ang uh, mga kapatiran sa pansamantala naming pag -iwahiwalay na sila'y makarating sa kanilang mga tahanan, alisin ang mga hadlang at Lord with the joy na nareceive namin 
ay ma-impart din namin, makita sa amin ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Maraming salamat, Lord. We give you back all the glory. I-bless mo din ang mga kamay na patuloy mong ginagamit supporting this ministry sa dako na ito at ibalik, Lord, sa kanila ng higit pa sa mga pagpapalang ito. Maraming salamat. Lahat ito, Lord, ay binabalik namin. In your mighty name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless po sa bawat isa, mga kapatid. See you on Sunday.